Shall we? Should I pull the emergency brake and then talk to him? <laughs> or should I look at the table? Matt, why'd you get back on the train? I like trains. I like it's to easy to fall asleep, sleep. rocked by the sound of the wheels. The clickety-clack of the wheels. I like to sleep on trains. I don't remember the last episode of Faro, to be honest. All I remember is just saying that constantly. At the end. I'm going to search the handbag, guys. All right. You're fucked now, boy. <laughs> I found the gun. Put it in your mouth. Hey, there you are. What were you thinking? Uh, come out of there. The man. It's the spooky man. man. The man. What are you doing on the Why did they wait in the tunnel? Why didn't you wait in the tunnel? Because the train was on fire. I... Well, the back ones were on fire. You're Pistol. No, apparently the front is on fire. Then why are they alive? I don't know. And what? They're just gonna hurdle a flaming train down the fucking track? <laughs> no, you're probably right. I Good luck the, to whoever. I bet that the back is on fire. Hey, let's just throw this flaming train down the tracks, and eventually it's gonna find somebody. You want to come out? All right, so I'm gonna give him the gun. <gasps> he's not a smart kid. <laughs> oh my god. Look at those bags under his eyes. Like, he's he's clearly on drugs. Yeah, he must have raided the violinist's case. <laughs> he must have stolen them from our pocket because we're not very bright. Yeah, true. Uh-oh. So that didn't work. All right. Well, time to examine. Wait, it said it was damaged. This says it was broke. Somebody didn't read. <laughs> Or listen. The editors! I mean, how else? <sighs> Jesus, are we almost done with this? No, yep. not even. We're close. I know. We're pretty Alright, I'm going into the Baroness's apartment. Find her undies. Alright. Hang yourself That's why them. we came back. I presume. <laughs> <laughs> this train's where I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna jack it. One last time. Drink a glass. <laughs> uh, well, how about well, we just drink Moby Dick instead? <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the tap. Okay. Oh, I can keep doing it. Yep. Look Guys, at I yourself in the mirror, it. cause it's Poirot. Just let it be. But no, of course not. And now you're here on an out of control train in the Alps. Wow, we're really having this time right now. What a fucking pep talk. Yep. Time to save the day. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. So you're looking for a towel as well, just by the way. Oh. Well, if he moves his fat ass, <laughs> that he might happen. be able to find it. Because there's a towel right there. Examine no, we mirror? need a towel. <laughs> oh, oh, examine the towel. Oh, this one. You know. All right, go. I'm grabbing it. I love it. <laughs> okay. And wet it. You should wet it. He doesn't do anything first try. He, you know, talks about it first. You need to, like, do everything so multiple good. times. Burr. Wet towel. Alright, now what? Uh-uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. Well, if we had to guess. If we had to guess, I'd say let's go to the sitting area car. Okay, I'm going there now. Maybe there's an axe in there or something. I don't know. Back where this all began. Something like that. Oh god, you bumped the mic. It's all over. Oh, Jesus. Come on, <laughs> Poirot. Around. Now's not the time to pace. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I really hope people stuck around for this finale I, I mean we know you oh will. my god <laughs> we know I will what the fuck hey hey handsome do you like my cheek <laughs> no no I want to go back to the sitting room no Spencer there we go thank god 
This Grab is... the axe. Apparently there's an axe Kill here. myself with Why it. Why is he going back? Why is he going back? Grab the axe. Kill the violinist. <laughs> an axe is for emergencies. My last act of murder on this earth. <laughs> they never caught me. Oh, God. Tell the detective where the other bodies are. Also, uh... Pick up his book. Oh, apparently. I already have my book. No, you don't. Where's my book? I don't, on the ch by the chair on the right. I don't know. It is clearly not. Well, you need to go back further, maybe. Ugh. But I just got in here. Well, no, I wasn't talking about going to the different room. Well, maybe it's on this chair in the I right. I doubt it. When we're talking about, uh... Look at Matt with the axe. <laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Here, Matt. You need a wet towel? Clean yourself up before <laughs> I dirty you up. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Go to the next carriage. You sure? Him standing no, 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 at the end of the hall the... with the no, axe. Don't do That's it. spooky. <laughs> no. Don't go in here. Oh, no. <laughs> fuck, you can't. I can't cancel actions. Axons. I can't ax myself in the head. <laughs> alright, alright, I got this. I'm gonna make it. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, Steam nominations are going on right now, and I think we no need to motivate <laughs> this for, sta for a test of time. <laughs> Oh no, please. Nope, <laughs> apparently that wasn't enough momentum. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, look, out look the at window. the window. Fuck it. Hot spots. Alright, the there's just the window. My book is not here. Fuck your book. See an axe just behind the glass doors of the sitting room and left of the emergency break. Take the axe. Pick up Zeller's book from the floor beside the chair at the right. See, is it that? No. Are you we'll walk sure? down further. No. Wait. Oh. Fuck it. Just open the door. Yeah, I'm betting that that's assuming that I didn't take the book in the first place. Oh. I don't, I don't know. It, I don't know. It was. Work. See, I was right. It is the, the front that's all... Why'd he drop the axe? Because he's, he's an one. idiot. Oh, no, you're right. It, yeah, no, you're definitely right that it's the front. It's just... Fucking why? What's I, he fucking doing? I don't know. All right, I got the axe. I'm using the axe on the door. Okay. And yeah... I bet it's because I already took the book. No. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. What? So we can open it again. Use it on myself. There we go. There we go. Jesus. Is the nightmare over? We're going to make this flaming train not our problem and somebody else's. Kidding. It's red hot. Like the one on the freight car. That means that first I have to turn that thing there. That keeps it under tension. Uh, it's not working. Okay. If I could reach the lever with my hands. Is the axe on the lever? Sure. Cut up Poro. Okay. Uh, uh, oh my god. Yes, it should. It won't. That should do the trick. Well, maybe with the axe. We we didn't want to animate this part. Yeah. Yeah. It was rough. We got lazy. Let it go. <laughs> Satan himself walks into the room. It's not just smoke. I can actually taste lumps of ash. What? The fuck? Story. Oh. I uncoupled the locomotive at full speed. Yes. Bad, eh? Do you think we'll 
It's going to inevitably crash into something. Yeah. So we can have a chat. I check the entire train. And no if there's anyone else, I have a fucking axe. What an adventure. Oh yeah. Tell me, what did you see on the train? Well. So you were stupid. Yep, you're really stupid. Because a wooden pistol is clearly equivalent to sacrificing your life. Why are you tiptoeing? He doesn't want to spook the fire. <laughs> Everybody knows fires burn hotter when they're spooked. <laughs> oh, he was hurling. Must have been. Well, that's clearly the constable. Or the. the that's uh, clearly Zellner. The engineer. Yeah. Slash the conductor. The conductor is the is the raven. Achoo. Zellner is the raven. He was gunned down. He's a ghost. <laughs> he was a completely inept thief. <laughs> I mean, then again, I'll say it again. The heir to the raven is punch this glass and cheese it. Yep. <laughs> and then? When the guy was gone, I got up and banged on the window. I wanted to get out of there. But then I thought, what if the guy can hear me from the This is a pretty room? uncomfortable scene. So, yep. I got scared, and I hit again. Look at the, like, the angle of his neck and head. Yeah, just like, sure. this is... Yeah, very sure. What else could he do? A woman? Wow, what a sexist little... No. Dick. Boy, this guy is not yeah. gonna grow up to be very good, is he? No. If only you knew. Did you recognize the man? I don't think. No, I was too busy no. staring at my dick. Was he? And my man. toy pistol. I think he was a bad man. What? He was sneaking around, even though. Oh, thank you. Maybe he just wanted to get his wooden. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> The envelope that the man lost. Maybe he dropped it intentionally because he probably heard you sneeze like a dumbass. He just like threw his hand through that envelope. Okay. Pretty good. And Pretty much. Passport. And here, for... For the cruise. What? The tickets we have for the big ship. Wow, that oh, smile boy. is frightening. Yep. yep. Oh my god. <laughs> What do you want to do with it? Okay. We just need a Dutch angle. Did we do it? That smile. We did it. And we changed uniforms. Into a fucking... Polo. Into every old man from Switzerland. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. We'll just... We'll finish up this scene. Yeah. It's good. We'll Wait, what this. happened to the train? Also, weren't we on, you know, like a fucking time schedule? Fuck the train. <laughs> How did we get here? It was a plot device. Fuck the train. <laughs> they walked and caught up. <laughs> and then they got in this car. No. What else did you find out in the tunnel? They just Not walked the down the tracks until they found Poirot. The they got in Poirot's magic space car. Which and they flew <laughs> back to the road. Now Obviously. they're driving. Obviously. <laughs> And of course, that, that cruise is not going to move on without the train that nobody knows broke down. Well, I guess they did when the, you know, blaming fucking engine ran into another train and yeah. killed 30 people. Yep. How could the Raven's heir have found out about the trap? How was he able to put the dynamite in the box and place the letter? The dynamite was probably already in the box. Wow, you sounds dumb. like you're an wow, idiot. Wow, you did not do your job right. You had no reason to do so. It wasn't my only mistake. I knew someone was on the roof of the freight car, but I let myself be distracted by that damned letter. Because he's an actual detective. Yeah. But not a smarter one, that's for sure. And what about the ship? I have earned the right to join you. <laughs> what you I got two new wrinkles from this shit. Take me with yeah. you. <laughs> yep. And you still want to leave me behind. You met I don't know about that. Yeah. He he did pretty alright. It wasn't luck. 
You can return to Switzerland with your head held high. Okay then. And now it's personal. Now I'm not just an incompetent buffoon. Now I'm an incompetent buffoon with a grudge. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> the most dangerous kind of man. <laughs> I'm the one that threw the dynamite. I'm clearly not more dangerous than the killer. <laughs> Can somebody throw this weird guy in the ocean? Just drown him? Yeah, Seriously, they should have sent a uh, an actual detective from, from you know... Here's, here's what England. we're going to do, says Zellner. Let's drown every person on that train, and then the raven's dead. <laughs> they want to inform the Egyptian authorities that there might be a burglary attempt. Might. Wait, but wasn't the jewel stolen? Yeah. Or no. I never received it. Keep a close watch on the loading of the eye, brother. Wait. Just what? let it happen. Just let it happen. I'm confused. Just so the... Just let it happen. Oh my god. <laughs> what? And the second eye is in that safe? Yes. You sure about that? It sounds like you don't fucking check maybe these you should. Maybe you should open it up and check. No, that's the Raven's plot. He's gonna open it up to make sure it's there, and then he's just gonna fucking cheese it. He's just oh, gonna grab okay, it and swing. Okay, so it was a fake jewel on the train, and the real one was here. It was taken by Armored Car. Professor Lucien has one, and Baronet Van Trebitz, who's paying for all this, has the second. The third was sent by air courier to Dr. Abbas. He just wants it open, and he's just going to swim out to sea, and then that's how the raven wants to open the safe before it arrives in Egypt. That's correct. <sighs> okay, I'm thinking we should call it. Yes, I just want to get out of this conversation. Extra long finale. Well, but... you get out of this con conversation, more plots going to very likely happen. Can I just save from here? With the distinction that he may go to Ready to start. All right. Well, let's breeze through this. I hope indeed. Why do you Nico? What is? What do you? It's he. Have you ever considered the possibility? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wow. Hey, maybe I just killed the wrong guy. That'd be funny. Who would have cared enough? The chief of police, the police, and it was the best thing that could have happened to the raven. The search for him was over. I know the old raven just cheese it all the time. Grab it and Yeah, run. just just ask yourself, is that consistent behavior? Policeman gossip. And there are plenty of forges. My Oh my god. I have to find Offer to help. Well, I'll help you. There we go. Oh please. Oh thank god. Next time. Ugh. <sighs> Next time, maybe. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. I have something to say to Mrs. Marbury.